So picture this. Your alarm goes off and you frantically rush through the morning routine to get the kids fed, lunch is made, and everyone out the door, fingers crossed, on time. The bell goes, attendance taken, anthem sung, well, at least in the old days, schedule set, first course, second, recess, another lesson, lunch, and then more learning. Yet if you're homeschooling, the good news is you don't have to do all these parts and pieces, especially the rushing part. However, the bad news is it could be that you don't get to drop them off. Indeed, there's also more responsibility and on you. So I'm here to remind you to make your homeschooling easier, even more enjoyable. If we haven't met yet, I'm Kelly Nolt, hi, from joyfullyparenting.com, and I help dedicated moms with strong-willed children eliminate family tension and exhausting tantrums so they can enjoy the loving family they deserve, even when homeschooling. So welcome to day two of our month-long series of Joyfully Parenting Homeschooling Tips. Now, no matter if you're an enthusiastic new homeschooling family or feel like COVID homeschooling refugees, you're in the right place and I'm thrilled you're here. So one of the cool things about homeschooling is that it's flexible. This means you can custom tailor your day and curriculum around your child's needs, temperament, and even their ideal waking schedule. Nope, you don't have to mimic a rigid school routine. So here's a homeschooling pitfall that I don't want you to fall into. I don't want you to put your family in a homeschooling box that ultimately is not a fit and causes stress. So meditate on this. What schedule will ultimately and realistically work for your family? Here's a well-known fact. I hope it'll take pressure off your beautiful mom's shoulders as well. To no fault of the teachers, there's heaps of wasted time at school. Simply organizing that many kids is like herding cats. And as an educational assistant, I see this all the time. Additionally, classroom behavior management eats up a lot of time. So take a deep breath and repeat after me. I do not have to create a copycat version of school. I don't need to be like a trained teacher either. I've got time. Does that feel better? I hope so. Also, all schools and teachers well, they ease into their year. Many have a week-long orientation. Teachers tell me all the time that it takes at least a whole month before they settle in. So go easy. Don't burn yourself out, especially in the first month. Strive to strike a balance between structure and flexibility. And while you're at it, make it fun for both you and your child. Now, before we go, I'd love to know how you plan to ease into your homeschooling year, how you feel about it. Also, if you know of a mom friend who'd appreciate some positive homeschooling parenting tips, do her a favor and share this right now. And I hope to see you tomorrow.